What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are rocking out with a Groudon and Paradox Pokemon team for Ranked Regulation G. Now, when it comes to Groudon, it has the Drought ability, setting the sun every time it hops onto the field. And on this team, we got four Paradox Pokemon, all with Protosynthesis, giving it a nice little stat boost every time they're in the sun. So if we keep weather control with this team, we're going to be thriving out here strong. But let's talk about Groudon here for our first Pokemon in today's team preview. Groudon's got the clear amulet as item, the water terror type for a nice defensive terror type, and then a great moveset of Precipice Blades, high horsepower, protect, and heat crash. Let's talk about the Paradox Pokemon now. We got four of them, Fluttermane, Walking Wake, Raging Bolt, and Roaring Moon. Fluttermane's going to be a great special attacker that can actually counter Trick Room teams with Trick Room of its own. Walking Wake's going to be a big time special attacker with a Life Orb, Raging Bolt's a bulky special attacker with Assault Vest. Finally, Roaring Moon, our last Paradox Pokemon, going to be a great Tailwind setter. We love Roaring Moon. Very solid, great typing, cannot go wrong with it. Our final Pokemon on today's team is going to be Entei. Now, Entei, just like the rest of these Pokemon, thrives out in the sun, sacred fire, doing massive amounts of damage. But Entei also has inner focus and safety goggles with normal terror type, extreme speed, protect, and roar. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Rent the code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing this Groudon and Paradox Pokemon team. We're hopping into match number one, and we are going up against a Coridon team. And if you guys know anything about Coridon, it sets the sun just like Groudon. So the sun is going to be out here for the whole game. We're going to be trying to thrive with it. But they also have Raging Bolt just like us. They got Fluttermane just like us. The other three Pokemon, Incineroar, Rillaboom, and Urshpoon. So two fake out users, one Intimidate, and Urshpoon. Okay, so from here, I think a good lead could be Groudon potentially, especially with the clear amulet. We kind of bypass any fake outs that could be pretty good for us we could go into roaring moon or not roaring moon um entei here could definitely do that or we could just go into roaring moon and try to get off that tailwind with the covert cloak we could do that or i can force a fake out into that slot maybe just go these two we have a lot of different options i could go into flutter main and roaring moon that's actually not bad i think we go flutter main roaring moon and bring Groudon in the back end now Go ground on back end and last but not least, probably walking weak. I just really like walking weak. It's just such a strong Pokemon all around. So we are gonna end up going walking weak. I like it. We're locking it in. We're locking it down. We're kind of hoping that they're leading Incineroar. Because if they lead Incineroar and see Fluttermane as the ghost type on the side, they're just gonna fake out Warm Moon. And what they don't know is Warm Moon has that covert cloak. So we're just gonna force a fake out turn, get up a free tailwind, and kind of go from there. That's the whole plan. So we'll see what they want to do. They're gonna go cry on Fluttermane. So they just set the sun for our paradox Pokemon. All right, I don't mind it. Oh, I do not mind it. I simply do not mind it. So I could terrestrialize my Roaring Moon. Um, I could terrestrialize my Flutter Main. I feel like we, we have a lot of different options, but Protosynthesis is popping. So the Pose of Flutter Main gets a speed boost. Mine gets a, my Roaring Moon gets a s attack boost actually. And, and I think my Flutter Main's Protosynthesis came out first, correct? So it should be speed and we should be faster. Now, this one's special attack. This thing's flying, man. Let's go, Fluttermane. So our Fluttermane's probably normally faster than them, but they're faster than us right now. So from here, I could just protect, and I think I am just going to protect. And then I think I'm just going to hit this Terra Steel button, because button, I think a Fairy Move's going to come out here. I'm going to set up a Tailwind. A nice, lovely Tailwind, because I doubt you're going for Fire Move into Roaring Moon, right? I doubt it. I doubt it. But we're going to see a Turn 1 Terra pop out from him. This Coridon is actually going to get Terra, and he's going to go straight into fire. So he's looking to do some damage, probably going after Fluttermane, if I had to guess, right? I doubt you're doubling down into Roaring Moon. So we are using our Terra just to get off a Tailwind. That could be a pretty solid turn for us. I don't mind that, but that's seriously a solid Terra for him. So we're going to go into a Roaring Moon. We're going to go into a Steel Terra type. Again, we have to have fingers crossed right here that we are, or they are, attacking Fluttermane with Coridon, right? That's what we really gotta hope. Because if not, we pretty much just waste Terra and we don't get off Tailwind. The Fluttermane's gonna go for Icy Wind. No big deal. We're gonna block that. No problem. And you're gonna take a speed drop here. Actually, you have Cover Cloak, so it's not gonna do anything. And he's gonna go for a Flame Charge, which is gonna get blocked. So he wants that speed boost with Karadon. That's really what he wanted. Now from here, we're gonna set up a Tailwind. So now we got Tailwind out and about. Pretty solid. I can take off Item if I want to. I like our back end Pokemon with Groudon in a Tailwind. But from here, you know what? We're just going to drop a Moonblast here. 
And honestly, I'm just going to knock off whatever item he has. It's probably what's it called, though. It's most likely clear amulet. So he ends up withdrawing and flutter main. That's fine. What are you going to go into from here? So he withdraws flutter main, and he's going to end up going into... Is that Incineroar? It is going to be Incineroar. It is going to be Incineroar. So he's going to intimidate me. No big deal. I do have Focus Ash, which is good. And I still have Curve. Moonblast flying here. Doing some nice damage. We get a special attack drop onto a physical attacker. It is what it is. Knockoff going to come out here. Actually still do some nice damage. Take off its clear amulet. He's going to go for a Flame Charge. So who, who are you taking out here? Or who are you trying to? Just trying to attack my Flutter Man, which is no big deal. I got the Focus Ash. I got the Focus Ash. So he can't fake me out, which is good news for us. Um... He's going to get a speed boost, which is kind of looking a little scary. And I might want to pop a trick room here. No, because then they would just take us out. Tailwind's kind of running out here. Tailwind is running out. And we have to start getting after this uh, we ride on. We really do. So I'm going to do this, and I'm just going to throw another knockoff his way. So he's going to go for the fake out. We do have Curve Cloak, which is gorgeous. Can't believe they didn't realize that with the Icy Wind. And now Moonblast is flying here, doing some nice damage. And they'll probably eat up a berry. No, no berry. Knock off doing some nice damage again. Flame Charge going to fly out here and take out my Roaring Moon. That's fine. That's fine. The Roaring Moon finally dies out here. We have one turn left in Tailwind. And honestly, they're going to be right on probably faster than all my Pokemon. Except for, yo, does my, does my what's it called have speed? Are you speed with Protosynthesis? Let me see. Are you speed? You are, oh, are you speed? It's a speed tie. I kind of want to go for it. So I kind of need some speed here. I'm going to go for it and hope that Protosynthesis boosts speed. I really need it right here. I need you to outspeed. I need a nice little Protosynthesis in the Sun Boost. Show me speed. Show me speed. Special attack? Come on, man. I need speed. Even though you probably are faster than what's it called here. At least for this turn. So from here, I'm just going to go for Hydro Steam. We still have Tailwind up for a turn. He is plus two on speed. And he's just going to protect him with South Tailwind, which is smart. It's smart. It be smart. The Moonblast flies. We get rid of you. They're... They're Karidon here. Looking scary here. It is looking scary. We have one turn left in, I believe, Sun. And I can set it whenever. I can set it whenever I want. I could just protect and waste out the Sun turn. But that will force me to get out Groudon. So I think we just attack here. Let's see who they go into. They're going to go into the Flutter main. They are going to get a speed boost. Um, Do I pop a Trick Room? Or at least try to? I mean, I don't think we can. It's kind of tough news. They're probably just going to go for Dazzle Gleam and go for a... Uh... Yeah, their best bet is just go for Dazzle Gleam and a... Uh, what's it called? And double down into my... My... Uh... What is it called? My Walking Wake. But you know what? Screw it. We're just going to go here. We're going to go Moonblast and we're going to go for Hydro Steam. We need to get rid of this Crydon. They played this one pretty solid. Solid. So they go for collision course here. Nothing's boosted his attack. How much damage is he doing? A bit too much. And now Dazzle finishes me off. All right, nothing I can do there. Ride on, just getting the best of us here. We still have Groudon in the back end, but I don't, I don't think we can end up winning this game. Maybe can we? No, because then they could just go for Flare Blitz. It's only one shot, and it would be like, hey, if we could eat up these shots from him, and then just land a blades, that be in our best interest. I really wish, what's it called? I really wish our walking weight got this speed. I, like, instead of a special attack boost for Protosynthesis. Because if we did, we would have been able to outspeed. We would have been able to get rid of Karidon. And that's really what this match came down to. If I got rid of Karidon there, that was game, set, match. It was game, set, match. We probably would have won that one. But now they're sitting in a good position. But they can just spam Collision Course. He's in the sun. He's getting all these boosts. And that's doing a nice chunk of damage. Hold up. Hold up. Dazzle Gleam, you soaked this all day, Groudon. You don't soak this. Okay, Groudon, never mind. Never mind. Just just terrible match from us. We're on one to get things started. Let's go hop into our second match and look for our first win. Moving on to our second match. We're going to put that first match behind us. We are sitting on one, but we're going up against a Shadow Rider Calyrex team. Now, another Pokemon that I've been seeing all across the rank regulation G ladder is going to be my shell. They are rocking out with that Pokemon, and that is a little scary considering they have Wide Guard. We got to watch out for Wide Guard. Just such a strong move all around, and it just works wonders. Furthermore, they got Incineroar, Fake Outs, Intimidates, looking a little scary. So we kind of want to lead Fluttermane. And I kind of want to lead Warm Moon, considering we have that Cobra Cloak, right? Cobra Cloak going to work good. We can pop Tailwind. We like that. 
The last three Pokemon are going to be Ogre Pond, the water form obviously, Amoongus, and last but not least, Fluttermane. So they got Fluttermane just like us. But I like this, they have no weather control, so I can bring Groudon in the back end for free. And last but not least, um, Walking Wake or Raging Bolt. They're both really good. They're both really good, but looking at their team, Assault Vest could be nice. They got a lot of special attackers. Assault Vest could be nice, so I am going to end up going Raging Bolt. Just having that Assault Vest, having that first turn priority all around, just works well. It works well. But we're 0-1. Gotta grab ourselves a win here in match number two. Hopefully they lead. Probably Incineroar would be my best option. Considering they're just going to be forced to fake out a War Moon. And they do not know we have the Cobra Club. So I'm kind of hoping they lead Incineroar. They will get an attack drop on my War Moon. But an attack drop for Tailwind, I wouldn't mind it. That's fine. Incineroar comes out here. Incineroar and Flutterman. Cool. And Cinnamon Flutter Main fly out here. Um, we don't have Shadow Ball in our Flutter Main. Do we think they have Shadow Ball on their Flutter Main? That is a possibility. So he's gonna put a synthesis boost. Um, I'm just gonna protect my Flutter Main. Actually, no, we're not. We're gonna attack with Flutter Main. It's free. It's free. We're gonna go for a Dazzling Gleam here. Just chip up damage, and we're gonna terrestrialize our War Moon just so we can get off this tail. If I had to guess, they're probably faking out the Warren Moon and they're going into a Dazzling Gleam slash Moon Blast. So they're not going to be able to KO my Flutter Moon. So why would we protect? It's pretty much just a free turn to attack if my calculations are correct. If everything I'm saying is happening, it should be a free turn to attack. Yep, there's Fake Out. Beautiful. We're Terrastalizing just so we can deal with Flutter Moon's Moon Blast or, yeah, Dazzling Gleam damage. And that works fine. Because now we get off free Dazzling Gleam. Bop, big time damage, and another Dazzle Gleam. Actually, that crit it. But we go Dazzle Gleam, we get off a Tailwind. Beautiful, lovely. Um, now what's my play? I could, tera uh, no, not Terrasize. I could throw another Dazzle Gleam. I could Moon Blast the slot. But I think I'm going to go Dazzle Gleam and then throw a knockoff across the board here. In my best interest, just to double down into this Flutter Main and try to get rid of it. But they're going to withdraw the Flutter Main. So whatever Pokemon they're going into, their item is gone. We're gonna get rid of their item. Amoongus, and that's not a bad Pokemon to get rid of their item. Not a bad Pokemon to get rid of their item. The knockoff flies here. What item are we getting rid of? Citrus Berry. That's a great item to get rid of. That's a great item to get rid of. He ends up going for a Flare Blitz. That's totally fine. You take out my Warren Moon, and that works perfect. Considering Warren Moon's kind of only here to take off items or set up Tailwind, and it already did both. So they take out my Warren Moon. Incineroar is going to take some nice damage, and I don't think Incineroar has a berry. I could go into you, I could go also go into you. I'm kind of leaning towards just going right into Warren, or, uh, Groudon here. Yeah, I'm going to go into Groudon. I'm going right into Groudon. So Groudon's going to come out here. Ground moves actually are decent up against Amoogus, considering it is a poison type. And I get a nice lovely Protosynthesis boost, which is going to boost my special attack, correct? Yeah, so with that special attack boost, Dazzle Gleam should finish off Incineroar no problem. So I should just be able to go into a Dazzle Gleam, finish off Incineroar, and instead of going for Precipice Blades, which has low accuracy, we're just going to go for high horsepower and make sure that we get off some damage onto... Actually, we should just go for Heat Crash instead. We're just going to go for Heat Crash, just to finish off Amoogus. I like this. So which all is Incineroar here? Who are you swapping into? Fluttermane again, maybe? Which would be a bad play. Yeah, Fluttermane just dies here, I'm pretty sure. Takes that Protosynthesis boost pretty well. And let's see what Amoongus can do. Amoongus is just going to protect. Alright. So Amoongus with the protect. That's fine by me. Dazzle Gleam should finish off Fluttermane. It should. I'm going to be kind of upset if it doesn't. Can you finish off Fluttermane? Awesome. Cool. So a bad swap from them. They could go back into Incineroar and Intimidate and Fake Out. But we have clear amulets of Intimidate. Really not going to do much. Heat Crash going to get blocked. And from here... If they go into Incineroar, we're just going to double protect. If they do go into Incineroar. Yeah, okay, so we're just going to double protect. And the reason I want to double protect is because they're in a position where they can fake out and put us to sleep. And I just don't really want that happening. So I'm just going to double protect here. Play it smart. They can also terrestrialize the movies here. So we get a read on it, too. We can get a nice little read on it. We can get a nice little read. So we're going to protect here. They're definitely faking out Groudon. I think they got to Terrastalize Amoongus next turn. I think they have to. So instead of Heat Crash, I believe they're going to have Water Tower. We're just going to go into High Horsepower and play it safe. There's Fake Out. They got to be going for Spore, which is exactly why we double protect. We're playing this one pretty well here. There's the Spore. 
They were trying to put Growl on him, so we could have just attacked for free with Fluttermane. We definitely could have. So Tailwind's gone. Um, we are just going to rip another Dazzle and Gleam. We know Dazzle and Gleam is going to KO Incineroar, and we're going to switch instead of Heat Crash. We're going to go High Horsepower here. Right? They haven't thrashed like yet? Yeah, they haven't. So High Horsepower is going to be our player. Nice little stab move. Let's throw it into the Moongus. Because now would be the turn. If they want to thrash slice, now would be the turn. Now would 1,000% be the turn. So Incineroar is either dying here or it's swapping out. Either or. We're, we're in such a good position. We're playing super well this match. Protecting at the right time. Getting out of Pokemon. And Amoongus is just going to choose to protect. That's fine because now we just take out Incineroar. Bye-bye, Incineroar. The Protosynthesis boost is just ridiculous on these Pokemon. It just does wonders. And we don't KO. Wow, that's actually surprising, right? I thought it would KO. I thought it would KO. He's, in, he's able to go for U-turn now. U-turn flies here. We might have to start going for Blades. I don't know. Moongus kind of annoying me here. Moongus is kind of annoying me. Let's see how many turns we have left in Sun. They are going to have Groudon for it. Or not Groudon. Incineroar for another turn in the back end with Fake Out. And I'm not it, I'm not worried about Incineroar. I'm not really worried about Moongus, but... It depends who their last Pokemon is here, right? Is it Shadow Rider? I think it has to be Shadow Rider, correct? Does it have to be Shadow Rider? It has to be Shadow Rider, right? That's a restricted Pokemon? I believe it has to be Shadow Rider. Who we can double down into? Could double down. It's gonna be Shadow Rider. Shadow Rider comes out here. Um, problem here is that he's outspeeding me, isn't he? I have Focus Ash though, which is beautiful. So I'm gonna I'm gonna send it here. I'm gonna go for Dazzling Gleam, and I am gonna throw a Precipice Blades. I am gonna throw a Blades here. I want this double hitting move. I got faith in my Groudon and land these attacks. Let's do it. Let's do it. So he doesn't know we have Focus Ash. He could go for Rage Powder. He's gonna end up withdrawing a Moongus. The so withdrawal is a Moongus. Intimidate does nothing for me, and that's just a Regenerator Hard Swap, I guess. Is that is that your play? Is that your player regenerator kind of hard swap? And he just protects Calyrex. So this isn't a bad turn for us. We still have Terra. Um, we have one turn left in Sun after this. So I could swap Groudon. But I have Raging Bolt in the back end as well. That's going to fly here. Um, and now they go back into Amoongus. Alright. So I still have Focus Ash. Which is good. This is such a solid battle. This is a solid battle. They can definitely win here. They could definitely win. I still kind of want to go into Blades. I still kind of want to go into Blades just in case Rage Powder's a possibility, right? So I'm going to rip another Dazzling Gleam. I am going to rip a Precipice Blades. Amoongus most likely could protect here. And Shadow Rider's not going to protect. Unless it's going for Double Protect. Which I would hope they wouldn't be able to land. This is such a good match. This is such a great match up here. So out finally comes their Terror. This has got to be Amoongus, correct? This has got to be a Moongus. Yeah, it's going to be a Moongus in the water. Yep. And I don't mind that. I mean, you could be going for Rage Powder, but again, we have double hitting moves flying. So I actually hope you're going for Rage Powder. This thing's going to throw an Astro Barrage here. Fluttermane's going to sash up, which is good news for us. And Groudon's going to be able to soak. So I just need to land these Blades, man. Blades is what I need to land. I need to land some Blades here. Because I know Dazzling Gleam lands. There's Dazzling Gleam. Doing some nice damage. Blades, I need you. Blades! Blades! Hit Calyrex. Who you hitting? Calyrex, let's go. I couldn't even see because Groudon was just in the screen. Thank you, Blades. Thank you, Blades. That's really all I needed from you. That's really all I needed from you. But now you're going to sport. I have Ragey Bolt in the back end. Wrap it up. That's game. That would have been terrible. We would have lost this game if we didn't hit Calyrex. If we did not hit Calyrex there, we lose the game. So thank you, Groudon, for at least hitting Calyrex. But now I can rip a Moonblast. Now they're going to cancel battle. I'm still going to throw Blades, but I'm asleep this turn. You're staying, they're staying in this battle, which is crazy. And of course, we put it on 1 HP. That's so funny. We put it on 1 HP. That's such my luck. That's such my luck. Grass Knot's going to fly here. It's going to KO our Flutter main. And what they don't know is we have Long Neck Dinosaur in the back end to win us this match. Thanks for playing. Thanks for playing. But yeah, that was a good match right there. Swapping in and out. Thinking out of our turns. All that good stuff. All that good stuff. But from here, we can just go into a Volt Switch. We already have speed, and we'll just go into a higher horsepower. Thanks for playing. GG's battle was finally canceled. We're sitting 1-1. One one. Let's go hop into our third and final match. 
Moving on to our third and final match. We're going up against a team with no restricted Pokemon, which is kind of weird considering we're like a month into uh, Regulation G. But hey, Como O Magmar. Cool little combo right there. Furthermore, they got Shen Pao. They got, uh, what is that Pokemon? Lamora, Ogre Pond, and Sableye. So I'm not going to take this team lightly just because they don't have a restricted Pokemon, but they don't have Weather Control, which is awesome for me. I love it. So I'm going to go ground on here, and I'm also going to go into a big time attacker, maybe Walking Wake here. Just get going. Love the typings here. Yeah, I think Walking Wake's in the mirror play. So I'm going to go Walking Wake. I'm going to go ground on here. Ogre Pond, I'm a little scared of. Not going to lie, but I like both these guys as our lead. So we're going to do that in the back end. Actually, we could go Tailwind user. We could go Tailwind user. I am going to go Tailwind user. Let's do it. Let's go Tailwind user. Let's go Walking Wake. Let's go Fluttermane. I'm down for it. All day long. Groudon and Paradox Pokemon. And no weather. We love it. We love it. This is exactly what we want here. We just want weather all to ourselves. All these Pokemon get the Proto Synthesis boost. Everybody doing some big time damage. But definitely gonna have to watch out for Shen Pao. Hopefully they don't lead Shen Pao, considering it kind of counters both of my leads. <laughs> it definitely counters both of my leads. But at that point, if they do lead uh, Shen Pao, I would just protect Groudon to rationalize my Roar Moon, get off Tailwind so we can have Speed Control next turn, and just start ripping into that Pokemon. But they're gonna go Sable like Lamore, which um, I kind of mind here. I kind of do. Do I want to go for a Terror type here? I'm just scared of the Meteor Beam more than anything. I am scared of Meteor Beam. I mean, I could just protect here. I could just protect. Um, but you know what? I'm going to go Blades here. I think I just attack here and Terrasalize and get off the Tailwind. I just love having this Terror type to be able to Tailwind. I really do. So I'm going to Terrasalize Tailwind. So it's either we get off a big time Blades or we get off Tailwind. Or hopefully they just fake out my Roar Moon, and I get off both, right? So I got Covert Clean. Maybe they might not fake out, but they could definitely Encore me, which is... Mm, mm, we don't like Encore. Could Encore me in the potential Tailwind, right? But we'll see a Terra pop out from them. Probably a Grass Terra Glamora. Is that a Grass Terra Glamora? It is a Grass Terra Glamora, which is okay right now. I mean, you're probably going for Meteor Beam. But I still think Blades does a nice chunk of damage. You just protect Sableye, cool. So again, you could Encore my, my Roar Moon this next turn. You could definitely Encore my Roar Moon. Make me want to potentially swap him. But Blades gonna fly here. Can you land on the Glamora? I'm trusting you, Blades, to, to land. Oh my lord, yo, Blades is terrible today. Maybe I should just stop using it. Maybe I should stop using it. It's 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 awful today. It's not landing. We missed the Moongus already. We got lucky that we hit the Calyrex. We just missed Glamora. I don't like it, but this is exactly why we terrestrialize. Not dealing with Meteor Beam. Not dealing with Meteor Beam. From here, now we can just go for Heat Crash. And I'll go for a knockoff if I can. I could protect, but honestly, I if I had to guess, you're probably going in Aqua. I'm going to swap right into Roar Moon. I'm going to get Roar Moon right on out here. Not Roar Moon. Walk and Wake. I'm going to get Walk and Wake right out here. Just in case you're going for Encore. I just hate dealing with Encores. It's so, it's so annoying when you're sitting there and you're on cord and you just can't do anything. So I'm going to swap into Walking Wake. You could have Quash on it too. She could Quash my Groudon. But I see us soaking up shots. You end up Encoring Groudon into Blades. Oh no. Why would you Encore Groudon? We're missing Blades again? Glamora dodges it. This is ugly. This is real ugly. At least we're doing some damage here. Lamora can now go for Earth Power. Which does nice damage. Um, You could quash me, but I'm stuck in the blades right now. And I'm just going to go for Flamethrower. I can't go for Protect, because then you just Encore me into Protect. So I'm going to go for Flamethrower. I think they're going to quash Walking Wake. And leave me with Precipice Blades. That would be a smart play. Quash Walking Wake. Yep. Son of a biscuit. I hate you, Sableye. Can we land these blades, please? And just get rid of them? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So Sableye gone. Lamora taking a little bit of damage. But Walking Wake's gone at this point too. And my Pokemon are now poisoned. Oh man! I hate Blades. Hate it. Hate it. I don't know why I'm using it. Sludge Bomb's gonna fly here and we die out to that all day. Okay. So now we still have decent Pokemon in the back. And our Pokemon aren't terrible. I could go into Roaring Moon. But I'd rather just go into Flutter. I mean, start ripping Dazzling Blades, right? Dazzling Gleam definitely up there. 
That's Gleam definitely in play. They're gonna go into Ogre Pond. So Ogre Pond comes out here. Um, Ogre Pond can't Twilight Slice, which is good news for us. It can't go for Horn Leeches, all that good stuff, which is a little scary on our end. But I'm gonna take a nice little poison, but I do get a Protosynthesis special attack boost, which we love. So I'm hoping the combination of Dazzling Gleam and Precipice Blades can just take this thing out, right? The Glamour I'm speaking of. And then our Encore should end very soon, and I can drop Heat Crashes. Or switch it to High Horsepower, something a little bit better. Would be nice. So I think we only have one turn left in Tailwind. I do have my Roaring Moon in the back end. But that Sableye just, just gave us a little bit of a problem, right? We got some Spike Shield. That's not bad. We got double double hitting moves just flying across the board. And if I had to guess, you're going for a Horn Leech, right, Ogre Pond? Right, Mr. Ogre Pond. Dazzling does a nice chunk of damage. We like that. Persepice Blades. Can you land on the Ogre Pond? It does. Okay, cool. So Blades make starting to make up for its uh, missed attacks. It does nice damage on the Ogre Pond. Another Dazzling will KO, or it would have. Oh my lord, why that Horn Leech do so much damage? Now my now my flutter main's dead because of the poison. Why did it do so much damage? It just did an absurd amount of damage. I hate this game. <laughs> God dang it. God dang horn leech. My encores end it and my tailwind ends too. So tailwind's gone. I can get back out Warren Moon, but this is just not looking good. Mm-mm. This is not looking good. I'm gonna try to go for a tailwind at least. And I could protect Groudon, but you're probably attacking. My Roaring Moon with like Earth Power. But I'm gonna go for Heat Crash here. I am actually just gonna protect because if you're going for Earth Power here, I would rather just KO you. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna protect Roaring Moon. We are gonna protect Roaring Moon. You're definitely going for Earth Power in this slot. You want to do it earlier in the game. You end up going follow me. Are you kidding me? Everything's working perfect for our opponent. He's playing really good here. Earth Power does fly into the slot, which is good news, but I don't get rid of the Glamora, which I really wanted to get rid of. That's a Pokemon I really want to get rid of. Heat Crash gonna fly. How much damage is Heat Crash doing to you? Plenty. Does plenty of damage. Plenty of damage. So, honestly, my Groudon's still kicking it here. Sun's gonna fade. They're gonna go for another Earth Power to take us out. My Protosynthesis is gone. Um, and who's their final Pokemon? It's gonna be Komo. -O. So, I'm gonna go for a Heat Crash to take out this Glamora. That's definitely my plan. And I am just going to go for a Tailwind. If we can pull it off, it could be nice. It can be nice. But chances are we go Heat Crash KO, they go Earth Power KO, and then they get a shot on my Groudon. But I'm hoping Groudon can just, like, maybe just kick it. But we're just outspeeding it. That's beautiful. I thought Glamour was a little bit faster, so that actually works wonders. That, so we actually keep our Roar Moon, correct? Yeah, we keep our Roar Moon. We're probably going to win this game. Maybe win this game. I don't, I don't want to say anything just yet. But yeah, Warm Moon. Fast enough to outspeak Lamora. We love that. We love that. So that's actually a big time protect from us. And he crashed doing great damage. We wasted out the Encore turns. Our opponent played good here, though. But Body Press flies here. It turns into a 1v1. But we do have Tailwind, which is awesome. We got Tailwind ready to roll. No Sun. We don't really need Sun. We got High Horsepower ready to go. And they already used their Terra, so we don't got to worry about them terrestrializing. So from here, Blades is looking... Blades is looking good, but I'm going to stick with my 95 accuracy move. If I miss this, I'm going to be upset. High Horse Power comes out of here. How much damage are we doing? Not half. We're not doing half. And this thing's bulking up. This thing's bulking up to go for body presses. This, oh, no. They got this, don't they? They're going to win this game. I need a crit from you, Mr. High Horse Power. I need a crit. I'm just going to spam it. I'm just going to spam it. Oh, no, dude. We're going to lose this match. <laughs> We're gonna lose this match. Unless you just start going for body presses now. So what's gonna happen here is we're gonna go for high horsepower this turn. They're gonna attack us. Or go for iron defense and then protect the next turn we set the last turn tailwind. Oh man. Give me a crit. Just give me a crit. How about that? Pokey guys, a little bit of help here. And I just missed my high horsepowers. How much damage body press doing? A lot. Plenty of damage. Yep, that's game. Lovely. Don't even get a shot. I don't even get a shot because I miss my attacks. 95 accuracy and I'm missing attacks. Just give me a chance. That's all I asked for. Now you probably outspeed me. I'm going to go for blades here because if I'm missing high horsepower, it doesn't even matter. You're just going to protect and get back more HP. If I'm, if I'm missing high horsepower, it doesn't even matter what move I use anymore, right? 
I'm going for blades. We have to go for blades anymore. Anyway, I think we need a blades crit in order to win. God dang it, Komo. -o. So annoying. So annoying. Dodging my attacks like that. But we're going to go for blades. You might just outspeed my ground. Ground's like kind of lower speed. But I land blades. Give me a crit. We got the crit, but we didn't win. If I land that high horsepower, <laughs> we would have won this game. That's crazy. I got that crit, though. That is crazy. But GG's to our opponent. Dropping the iron offense. I'm just upset. I've been missing moves lately. That last match hurt, man. Missing my blades, missing high horsepower. We just missed too many attacks with Groudon today. I absolutely love this team, though. Fluttermane, Walking Wake, Raging Bolt, War Moon, all thriving out in the sun. We got one and two. Definitely possibly could have grabbed ourselves a 2 1 winning record. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.